Howdy, everyone. Hello, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series. I'm the Black Shadow, and it has been quite some time since I last stepped foot on this title. Welcome to Dead Rising 2. So, a huge thanks to Blusery over on Patreon. Uh, he's the one you can thank for uh, this series, uh, for even happening. Uh, for sponsoring a series of Dead Rising 2 for the channel. And a cheap plug alert, if there's a series that you'd like me to play on this channel and are happy to support, uh, then head on over to patreon.com slash blackshow993 for ways in order to do that. So, my memories of Dead Rising 2. Um, this is one of very few games when this came out around like 2010 or whatever it was. Uh, that I, I don't think I got this game right on release. But I, or did I even, I think I got this not like the day, I think I got it like the day after release or something. Um, and I played this game a fair amount when it did come out. So I've gone through the campaign a few times. I put a lot of time in the Terra's Reality sort of like multiplayer segment of this game uh, on the 360, which is what I got it on. Uh, I was e for a long, long time within the top thousand in the world. Uh, for quite some time, I was in like the top 200 of the world uh, on this. I was playing this a heck of a lot. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a great little game, um, which a uh, main campaign only like scratched the surface off. But uh, that is the nature of it. Um, but it has been some time. Like I just think the last time I played this was probably about 2012. Um, so it's been some time. Uh, this does mean that a lot of my memory of the game in regards to, uh, stuff that you create, uh, the sort of little mechanics of the game, uh, quests and that have largely escaped me. And I considered looking them up, but I thought, nah, nah, we won't worry about it. We'll, we'll work it out as we go. We'll, we'll experience the game again. Why the hell not? Um, I don't remember if Dead Rising 2 gives a quick rundown of the events of Dead Rising 1, but if you do require them, the basics TLDR version is zombie, a, a zombie outbreak happened, Frank West is awesome, uh, he got infected, but with the thanks of, uh, Isabella, who was, like, the sister of the main protagonist, but actually wasn't the main protagonist because the government's evil, uh, managed to, uh, synthesize a, a effect, a sort of cure, uh, more prevention, uh, from the zombie infection uh, using the queens that some of the zombies have. And, uh, of course, I think that was like, f I think those uh, were three years ago, uh, the events of the Rising 1 at Willamette Valley, um, before the game. I think it's three years before. So, yeah, let's get started, everyone. I think case zero go into the background a touch more, but, uh, hey, Oh, KG, I haven't seen your name for a while. But yeah, so unfortunately, zombies are still a thing. And it means that for those who are affected and for those that know them, people can resort to pretty desperate means to try and find a way to prevent zombification. Yep. I already feel like memories are already starting to flood back here. It's pretty cool. Hey, hey, you're on in two minutes, Mr. Green. My name's Chuck. Yeah, yeah. Look, I need you to sign this release form before you go out there. Oh, and uh, don't forget to include your next of kin. That's always great to hear. <laughs> Her name is Katie. Can you take her somewhere safe? I'll take her to the green room. Go with the nice man, Katie. Don't worry. I won't be long. No, everything will be fine as I ride off on this motorcycle with chainsaws strapped to it. Dead rising, everyone. It'll never change. Well, it would do, and then the series would go to hell, but, uh... That's a conversation for another day. Man, I gotta remember what the hell I'm doing here. I'm playing, although this is the PC version, I have hooked up my 360 controller because that's what I've always played Dead Rising with controller, so. Hey, buddy. I heard you lost your wife in Vegas. 
I guess you suck at killing zombies, otherwise she'd still be around! <laughs> Save it for the show, shithead. Zombies. You're off the Christmas card list. They took our Las Vegas. But tonight, America, we're going to get a little payback. So yeah, Willowette's not the only place to have uh, an outbreak now. But the crazy thing is, is that of course, in good old corporate America, Of course people would find a way to commercialize fucking zombies. Eat your eye, Umbrella. And now, it's time for America's most dangerous game show. It's time for Terror is Reality. That is a name I have not heard for yonks. Well, America, are you hungry for a little terror? Because tonight, we're gonna give it to you. I've been poking these zombies all week, and man, are they pissed. <laughs> Contestants are almost ready, so let's send them a little message. You gotta be willing to risk it all if you're ever really gonna. I mean, it's very arguable which way is a better way to start this sort of game, you know, with, uh, you know, little investigative journalism. Or insane chopping down of zombies. That's always good. Right, so first thing we need to do is attempt to win. Well, I don't think we have to win. I can't remember, but I intend to win this. Uh, so yeah, so the old Terror Reality mini game, there was, uh, I think it was like about six or seven different types of games you could play. Um, and you had like, uh, basically like a best of four series of all of them. Uh, this one here, pretty simple. Ride your chainsaw motorcycles and just chop down zombies again. Hit the ones with little fancy hats, you get more points. Uh, the AI, the AI are not very good at this. Um, to be quite blunt, they were never were. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ah. So yeah, it, it's, it's, it is kind of weird coming back. Um, to be fair as well, it's one thing that's surprising me immediately. I don't know if it's just me, maybe I need to have a look at the settings here. But like, um, I remember uh, the Dead Rising 2, at least on the 360, felt really kind of visceral. Whereas this is, um, if he was kind of fairly sort of clean, wow, 20k, happy with that. That's a damn good score. Oh, well, that was easy. It actually looks pretty good for 2010, I'd say. He risked it all, and now he's taking home the big money. Woohoo! Money! America! Yeah, cheers for that, ladies. Yeah, sadly, I think we're just the prelim act. Ah, well. Gotta start somewhere, right? The good news is we won. So that makes our life a little bit easier. And I'll play there. Sounds like WWE.
average citizens. Ah, it's so funny. I forgot about that. Cheers, buddy. Alrighty then. So, let's see if I remember what the hell I'm doing here. So, let's go to the green room. Going to pick up uh, Katie, our daughter. She's a lovely little ass, isn't she? Uh, we'll be seeing, of course, plenty, plenty, plenty of her throughout this series. Alright then. Woohoo! Money is ours. We are two grand richer. And, oh, make it 10 grand richer. We are rolling in the cash. Cash is pretty easy to come by here, though. Yep. Lovely. Cheers, guys. We've got a Neem here, our competitors. <sighs> yeah, he's uh, a bit upset here. Yeah, this is really different. Like, admittedly, like my old, uh, when I was playing it on um, 360, like, obviously, it's a different, totally different kind of setup and a different kind of... Uh, Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, please tell me I can. I think I need that one inverted. Oh, there's always one I want inverted. I'm pretty sure it's the uh, the Y axis, isn't it? Or am I just dumb? That feels better, I think. Yeah, that feels better. Okay, let's get going. Anyways. But yeah, it just feels really different. Like, is it maybe because the, the quality just looks a lot better? Could be. Hmm. Well, I'll have to get used to it. Also, I need to check something quickly. Okay, that's much better there. Sorry about that, folks. All right, then. I don't think we can go down much of uh, any of this, I don't think. Pretty sure this is all... Uh... Oh, you can come in here. Oh, God. Look at this. Bonus content, everyone. My goodness. We got a locker room over here as well. Sure, let's go investigating. I mean, Katie's nice and safe in the green room. Nothing would ever happen to her, right? Pretty sure. Just come in here and just find like the ultimate weapon of the game was always stored back here. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> nah, there's it's, it's just uh it's just bonus, so it's just well and good. Alright then. Don't think you can actually run any quicker in this game than this. Uh or maybe you can. Yeah, I think I've got tutorials up, so that's the main thing. Katie! Ah, yes, saving, yes. So this is how we save the game. Uh, we go um, and relieve ourselves. Sounds like a great way to save the game. Let's go and do that then. Don't mind me, everyone. Just taking a whiz. Look, time at the moment doesn't actually proceed uh, in this. This is like a tutorial section. Uh, time doesn't actually uh, move while we're in this section, which is kind of useful. Hey, I remember you. Yeah, I remember you. You were the bitch on stage, weren't you? D uh, yeah. <sighs> Plenty of this coming up. Yeah, thank you for every single innuendo under the sun. I shall do so. Thanks, douchebag. Alright, let's uh let let's leave her to her own. The ladies were a little disappointed in your performance tonight, Chuck. But you must get that a lot. A commentator shakes his head. Ah, yes. Zombrex! That's what we're here for. Can I see of... Uh, whoa, hello. Great. Katie, 
Yeah, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. What the hell's going on here? Sounds like a, like a riot of some kind. Maybe someone's pissed they lost her at reality. That doesn't look good. Well, shit. Who would have thunk it? Keep a shitload of zombies as part of a game show, and what do you know? There's a breakout. When will people learn? Right, we better go get Katie and get the hell out of here. People are going to die a lot. It's going to be bad. Right. Let's see if I can remember how to play this game. That's it. There we go. Got myself some, ooh, some vodka. That's a nice little item, actually. Right. We're going to have to cut our way through here, obviously. There is... um, Not good, folks. Right. Let's uh, attempt to not die here. God, it, I feel so rusty at this. Nope. Scumbags. Katie? The hell? Oh, sh you bastard. Fuck you. Nah, this doesn't look like the green room. Oh, right. That doesn't work. Okay, then. Right. Well, Drake's dead. Yeah, a lot of people are dying, unsurprisingly. Oh, shit. Getting out is going to be tricky. I have made... Made issues. I've got myself boxed in here. Nope. Fuckers. Shut this down. There we go. Right, okay. Man, I feel so, so damn rusty. My god. Okay, then, right. How are we going to get out of here? It's going to be tricky. Oh, good, it did go out. Lovely. Hi, everyone. You all look like you're having a. What the? Holy shit, there's loads of zombies out here. I don't remember there being this many. My god. I turned on hard mode and not realised. I think I might have done. God almighty, there's shitloads of them out here. I'm in trouble. Where's the green room? I don't want to fight any of this. We are only level 1, unfortunately, as well. Uh, if you play the, uh, the the K0, which is basically like the beta, uh, you, um, you can actually get your character up to like level 5 uh, before this. Open the door! But unfortunately, I don't have that. Oh no! Get off. Ah, it's just some schmuck. Never mind. <laughs> no way. Oh no, the co hangar of destruction. Well, let me just freeze this there, the animation. That's great. Right then, so we need to get you the hell out of here. Oh my god, I forgot how sloppy this is. Hey, Erwin. Oh, cheers for opening the door for me, buddy. I appreciate it. Um, I would not... <sighs> Can lead a horse to water, folks. Shit. Nope. Oh, well, we both missed. Whatever. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my God. There are so many zombies. I don't remember there being this many. Jesus. Out of the way, buddy. It's carnage out here. Where the hell's the exit? It's down there, isn't it? God almighty. Where do these zombies come from? They're keeping this many down in captivity. Hi, Elena. Helen. Bye, Helen. <laughs> Get out of here. Where's our damn motorcycle? We could use that now to, you know, get the hell out of here. That'd be great. Oh, no. Not again. I think it's fair to say Fortitude Shit City is, uh, it's fucked. He's getting himself some.
Here we are. Some superior dodging skills. Safe house. That's convenient. <laughs> that guy's just standing there in the camera's way. Cheers, buddy. Bungie Shelter? I like the sound of that. Just like someone planned it for just such an occasion, right? I think that's actually true. <laughs> it's not just a joke. I think that's actually the case. Oh no, the door's closing. Swing and a miss, buddy. Yes, everything will be fine. Nothing bad will happen down here. Look around you! Do you think how thick these walls are? Plenty of panic, not surprisingly. Holy shit. Speaking of faces I haven't seen for some time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second, son. Listen, it's an existing condition. All right, it's okay. It happened a long time ago. That makes it fine. First light three days from now. That's the standard procedure. So we're stuck here? There's a couch in the security room. Why don't you take her in there? It's quieter. Thanks. Cheers, Sullivan. As you know, any man that uh, happens to work for a uh, government department facility and has the big letters of what he works for emblazoned on his jacket, you can trust him. Of course you can. Also, thanks Capcom for this. I've just gotten a through with this with freaking goddamn Sherry Birkin, for Christ's sakes. Oops. I was gonna get some right after the show. We still have time. Where are you gonna get it, Dad? You let me worry about that, okay, kiddo? I know where you can get some. Oh, hi. How long have you been listening? <laughs> I won't tell you. There's a pharmacy in the Royal Flush Mall. I'm Stacy Forsythe, by the way. I'm Chuck. This is Katie. Do you know a way out of here? No, but if you find one, I suggest you take this. That way we can keep in touch. There's closed circuit cameras all over the city. These monitors are playback only, but I'll keep an eye on them. Chuck, if you find anyone alive out there, I'll do what I can. Keep an eye on my daughter, okay? <laughs> Remember when PSPs were a thing? Yeah, we're gonna be needing that, buddy. Because I remember sod all about Fortune City. If I told you, I couldn't even remember what the name of this place was before I turned the game on. 
that should worry you. Uh, so we have three days to uh, to uh, to basically survive until the military will come in and save the day. Because of course, that's exactly what the military will do. However, um, to make things extra interesting on the original Dead Rising uh, one situation is Katie. We need to give her Zombrex every twenty four hours, and it's pretty damn rare to come across. Uh, so we are going to have to track that stuff down, and she needs her first dose fairly fairly damn soon. Uh, yeah, there is cooperative. Unfortunately, uh, not able to do cooperative for this series because of time constraints. Although it would have been fun, but hey. All right then. So I need to remember everything that I'm doing because it has been some time. So here is the map. Right, God Almighty, this is like it's been so damn long since I've been here. I forgot. Fortune is actually quite a large little area as well, for that matter. Right, so uh, we've got an objective down there, which is cool. Yeah, we check out. Uh, there's a there's a mark down in the Royal Flush Plaza. We might be able to find case of Zombrex down there. Let's ring some bells. Our status, obviously, we currently suck. This is a bit of a problem. Uh, notebook of all the people that we do come across, just like there always was. There's Tyrone. There's Leon. What is up with this guy? What a what a jerk. Uh, obviously, the map and that story was all well and good. So, as we go through this game, there's some questions that I need you guys to ponder as we play this. Now, the first thing I've realized as I've just, like, delved into this, I've already realized how oddly contrived Dead Rising 2 sort of, like, it, it feels kind of ham-fisted at the moment. Like, everything... Like, like, you think that's a Dead Rising 1, it's quite a slow sort of build into the game. So that's because the way it is with the whole helicopter scene, you know. Whereas Dead Rising 2 kind of just throws it all in your face. But then I suppose it suggests that you should probably know what the hell is going on. However, it just feels like it could have been perhaps done a little bit more, a bit more gloriously. Also, we, our time is now running this game, so we're going to have to be uh, pretty quick here. Yeah, we'll find some. We need to grab some supplies while they're here. Uh, that's pretty much screwed. Supplies will appear in the uh, in the safe room for now. Later on in the game, they will stop appearing, which is unfortunate. And then we've got Stacy, who basically acts as our uh... what was his name? Was it Otis? I think it was Otis. Uh, but anyways, as our, uh, our communications person for uh, for the game, folks. Now, this is the question I need to ask you guys. I want your honest opinion. Is Stacey Forsyth Capcom's Claire Redfield of the Dead Rising universe? Because I always thought that when I was playing this. I was like, like, clearly one is either inspired. Because, of course, you think Claire Redfield and De Resident Evil uh, would go on to work with TerraSave, which isn't a million miles away different from, uh, from Cure. Although Cure is... Um, and more about the, you know, respecting, you know, zombies as, like, still sort of human beings sort of thing, which is kind of crazy. Um, but, uh, well, you know, the the, 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 the the comparisons are definitely there to be made between the pair of them. So, uh, curious for your thoughts, everyone. So, yeah, so we have to give it to Katie between 7 and 8 in the morning. Not allowed to give it before because apparently that would be unacceptable. God damn you video games. So here's Sullivan, everyone. God, this guy's great. Doors locked tight. Nothing's getting here, folks. We are pretty damn safe down here, which is good. Now, this is actually quite a huge little complex of a safe area. Uh, certainly compared to um, uh, what you'd end up dealing with in, like, uh, the first game. So uh, that's pretty cool. Thank you. You're so sweet. I did something to help you? Sure, whatever. I shall take your credit and uh, accept that I'm a genius. This is fine. Right, we'll save the game, sure. Sounds like a good idea. All right, then. So, man, I feel I do feel so rusty, though. We got Lulu here. Howdy, howdy. I know, aren't I great? I am the best. We got the cafe, uh, all sorts of bits and pieces here. There are some nice things items here, like the orange juices. The vodka is not a bad find at all. I will want to be keeping all of that. Yeah, like orange juices, milks, they're all really good. But uh, it's a shame later on in the game when this shit stops appearing. Because, of course, you know, it makes kind of sense. We've got some slot machines. We've got 
All sorts of crazy stuff to do here. I really should be wasting time. And of course, I always remember this poster here. This is such a great... In the event of an infected outbreak, run. Find a secure government shelter. Press the outbreak alarm button. <laughs> and arm yourself and know your enemy. Decapitation equals deanimation. That was my... Uh, I remember that was like my... Um, like my little slogan I used for quite a few internet boards for quite some time. Uh, remember, if it can crawl, it can bite. Keep calm, finish the job. But yeah, I love that the, the little. They did put a lot of detail into like some of these little posts. There's another one over here. I will be really in the game. Yeah, the infected are dangerous. Do you know the warning signs? Do they have grey skin, pale eyes, and a lack of expression? Uh, do they have open wounds or missing extremities? <laughs> It's just like so obvious. Oh dear. Inventor will not respond to physical threats, imminent bodily harm, or pleas for reason. If the inventor approach, keep away. Act, isolate, identify. Call 911 because they'll be able to do something. Uh, so yeah, there is some really. That was one thing I always praise this game on is the details. There's another one here on how to uh, identify inventor. I can just imagine this like in the world of like now, in, in the real world. Of this sort of stuff, where like the zombie, the zombie outbreak happens, um, this sort of thing, you know, and like the infected hotline. It's so crazy. That's <laughs> shit like this, but it's not inconceivable, you know. I mean, it's just great stuff. Oh my lord! I hope you guys can see this properly. Yeah. So um, the infected lose their hair in patches, uh, eye color. Uh, they lose color and turns lifeless. Uh, the infected feed on human flesh and will have blood sprayed on face and clothing. That is, uh... <laughs> I never see that! The infected are clumsy and slow, much like students during spring break. <laughs> I never saw that in my life! Oh my god, that's great. There we go. If you have problems, call 1888-INFECTED without the E. Oh my god. Images of dramatization. Infected may not appear as shown. Warnings brought to you by the US Army. Cheers, guys. Oh, man. I'm, like, just popping myself here now with, like, all the uh, stuff here. I suppose I'll give you a quick little tour of the place as well, actually. Why the hell not? I'm going to reload the game anyways because time is at a pretty hefty premium in this game. So I reckon we will. We got Chris. Who never bothered to put a shirt on. So that's unfortunate. And him never bothered to take his gear off. All sorts of stuff down here. There's another one. The Fortune City Gun Range. <laughs> I love that the target's all at the head. <laughs> Very, very nice. So, yeah, like I say, if you guys have played uh, Dead Rise 2, please let me know. You know I'm, I'm always curious when I start these series to see who's played what as far as the games are concerned. Uh, you know, because there's always, there's always a lot of people that tend to have played these games. There's always some that have never played them at all. Uh, and, yeah, just like seeing this on PC, is just, it just feels so weird. Like, I'm not used to this at all. Uh, how the hell did you get down here? Weren't you just... What the hell ever. Uh, but yeah, it just feels so different. It just feels like really squeaky clean. Uh, you know, I guess the benefits of playing this in, uh, you know, 2020 with a, a half-decent PC as opposed to 2010 when I had, a uh, you know, the... Uh, you know, not the best 360 in the world and to be rather fair as well, um, the... Uh, what was it? The, uh, you know, like an old... P you know, the TV I had was not the best either, so it kind of made it... Definitely a bit more gritty feeling. All kinds of fun. But yeah, it is also useful. It is also handy to sort of semi-know the way yours are going about here. Because this will be important later on. Now, there's an elevator you can take up here. Which will take you to the rooftop. Because this place has a rooftop. Because why the hell not? There we go. This place won't be important or anything. Nope. Not important at all. Never. What are you talking about, folks? Are you insane? I'm sure you're insane. So that's what we're going to call the video. So thank you much for watching. I uh, hope you will join us for uh, next time. We're actually helping, uh, you know, properly into Fortune City itself. We're going to find Katie some Zombrex. If we don't, 
Chuck will be very sad. And uh, I'd say, you know, take a guess what happens when Chuck is very, very sad. But that's what uh, Off the Record's for. He was very, very sad. Don't worry, Chuck. We're going to get some practice. I'll see you next time.